play the national anthem. Jana gana mana adhina yaka jaya hai Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkala Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhi Taranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Thank you everyone. Uh, Warm greetings to the Honorable Vice Chancellor of HSNC University and Principal of KC College, Dr. Hemlata Bagla, ma'am. Dr. Pooja Ramchandani, ma'am, Principal of HR College, Lead College of HSNC University. Dr. Balani, Principal of BTTC College, Constituent College of University, Vice Principals, Coordinators, Faculty Members, and most important, stakeholders, our students. Today is the seventh day of the orientation program. And we are delighted to have Mr. S Mr. S. Vala Subramaniam. And it's my opportunity to introduce Mr. Subramaniam. Mr. Subramaniam is a CA working with Deloitte, Haskins, and Cells. Sir has more than 25 years of professional experience. He has experience in audit, tax, and consulting. For the past 10 years, Sir has been working with the clients in investment management industry involving business growth. His clients include venture capital funds, private equity, and sovereign funds, apart from large group companies. He is a commerce graduate and a qualified CA from the fellow member of ICAI. He has completed Harvard Business Excellence Program. Sir has been trainer for board of members on the matters related to business growth, governance, risk, and compliances. He has also served as CFO in few of the organizations. Mr. Subramaniam is a regular invited speaker in seminars and conferences. He was advisory committee member of SEBI and ISM Mumbai, elected representative of the South India Council of ISA. He was co-program director of SEBI communication of IFRS to fund managers and analyst initiative. Sir was an accounting standards board of ICI when Indian accounting standards were drafted and released. Mr. Subramaniam has teaching experience of over 25 years. He has been a visiting faculty for various educational institutions like XLRI Jamshedpur, ASI Hyderabad, etc. He was also in syllabus formation and setting for both of few universities college. He is a regular resource person for faculty development of academic staff college of various universities and also was a faculty for CPA USA program. We welcome you, sir, for the induction program and uh, uh, over to you, sir. Uh, students are eagerly waiting to hear you out. Over to you, sir. Sir, we can't hear you. Uh, I thank uh, HSNC University and uh, various uh, principals and uh, senior staff members of various uh, colleges for uh, giving me this opportunity. Uh, I just before I start my presentation, I, I want to do the slides. Now you can see my slide now. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, see, it has been a privilege to be associated with the HSNC, uh, and uh, uh, though the profile uh, which you have just now detailed has been slightly uh, it was given to you in the last year. Of course, I'm in practice for the past 30 years. There's no major substantially except the uh, I'm right now uh, independently trans. There is a transition uh, which I'm working on right now in Mumbai only. Uh, we will get into, uh, I've been consistently um, in the education field uh, when I started teaching in XLRI way back in 1993. So, um, so I thank uh, Mr. Sundaram Puravi for giving me an opportunity to be part of HSNC. 
and um, this orientation program will help you uh, hopefully this is uh, this is not uh, whatever i'm telling you is not uh, again repetitive or uh, boring to all of you but uh, there may be one or two points if you implement uh, uh, in your uh, the next 3 years it will be of a lot of help for you i, I sincerely hope uh, so how much time we i have about uh, we'll have about how much time madam uh, broadly uh, i'll be having one one, one hour or one and a half hours, uh, 11 to 12 30 or what hello uh, yes sir. And uh, yes, Monish, you're saying something. Okay, broadly. Uh, okay. So I'll take you through uh, some of the key um, uh, differentiators what uh, makes a person uh, successfully utilize his time in the campus. Uh, the first and foremost uh, area which I thought I will uh, tell you is, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, getting ready for uh, corporate and uh, learning. And the learning uh, which you have been doing for examination purpose has to get transitioned to uh, accumulating knowledge and experience for the purpose of usage of uh, in industry. So now when you move into a college uh, environment, you we need to uh, get into uh, getting ready for uh, corporates. <clears throat> and uh, I mean, I am familiar with uh, what happens in Mumbai. So you all uh, will be also doing some other programs or busy with uh, uh, accumulating a more uh, more uh, education, more educational qualifications. However, I felt the campus life, the first uh, few years of your college life is the best period for you to learn. So what distinguishes a successful student as against a person who has not utilized the, the campus or the education system very successfully, I am going to give you a few points and uh, uh, request you to note down. The first uh, dis uh, differentiation is attention to details. So every uh, when you are in a campus or when you are in a learning model, uh, the, the focus should be getting into uh, any, if the faculty is going to cover from X, uh, some topic today, there has to be preparation before, there has to be full attention during the lecture and there should be a work post the lecture. So many times uh, what happens in uh, BCom or BBA or any of these undergraduate courses, people try to take it a little bit more fun and uh, and they take fun to that extent where they ignore or they completely miss out on the academic side and the initial part of the education uh, time. So attention to details is one area where I would say um, is an area where you need to focus on. So if a faculty is teaching a subject or a particular topic is being discussed, we need to make some 10 points or 15 points and we need to do some uh, some more additional research on the topic which we are discussing. This helps you to do learning. So what happens here is uh, when uh, you keep uh, learning uh, continuously, uh, it gets into subconscious mind. And uh, when it will be useful, we don't know. So that, that we need to understand that uh, when we are having a very good time uh, in the campus during undergraduation, if you pay even 15% more attention and then keep uh, accumulating um, you know, information and also uh, some sort of a practical application, we will be able to be more successful. So if you really see the uh, person who is getting a gold medalist or a person who is successful or who gets placed in a uh, better uh, job or better company and the person who is not so, no, not so much the, dif the, the difference is only about 5 to 10 percent. That is basically if you put that extra 5 percent or 10 percent, you are going to be more successful. So slightly uh, paying attention to details is one area where I feel it will make a lot of difference. And I have seen in my life uh, many successful business leaders uh, who run the company very successfully uh, pay attention to details. And uh, many successful companies globally uh, you take Procter and Gamble or General Electric or uh, Coca-Cola or any big company which is very successful, you will find uh, 
that they are paying attention to customers needs and wants which keep changing on a regular basis so this is one one area which i think uh, so if you are in a college for about 6 hours or 8 hours you you pay attention to that particular topic which is being discussed on that day so you need to prepare you need to go back and again one round so this is one area which i would say one has to uh, pay uh, very uh, serious attention the second area which i feel which makes you a successful learner mm. i won't call them as student because like lifelong we are students so so we have to keep learning all the time so is the interest so we need to put a little bit extra effort to show interest on the subject which is being discussed or which is being taught or which is being uh, part of the syllabus you you can't say that during uh, college days i i will leave this topic there is nothing to say that i will leave this topic see it is it may not be so oh, you may not find it so interesting but uh, if you put little bit extra effort and show some interest you will be able to uh, you will be able to uh, see the difference uh, you will be able to see the difference in uh, the way you are looking at that particular topic and the amount of learning which which is happening on that uh, on that particular topic so you need to slightly put that 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 extra mileage or mile uh, extra mile to show interest on the topic if you show interest on the topic even the faculty will be motivated to uh, you know involve you and uh, see that you are going to be your learning is going to be successful so this is an another area where i felt uh, uh, it makes a lot of difference for uh, those uh, who are uh, able to grasp that particular topic uh, which is being discussed that is uh, showing that extra mileage uh, um, uh, to learn the next area which uh, which i felt uh, uh, you have to know is 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 the 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 area of discipline see the area of discipline is uh, when you are disciplined you will become a better professional see the one area where uh, i find um, students lacking is uh, discipline when you are disciplined uh, what happens here is uh, you get respected immediately by others uh, because you show some seriousness so this discipline will ensure that even if there is a chance of failure that failure will not happen if uh, so the discipline will take care of your performance is my uh, my observation over years those who are very well disciplined are uh, are likely to be more successful because they are uh, getting into self regulatory uh, model by which they become role modeled for others so this is a, a very interesting observation my uh, my uh, close observation with the successful scientists successful doctors successful chartered accountants successful lawyers you take uh, somebody like mr palkiwala who used to be an eminent uh, lawyer you take a very successful uh, businessman uh, successful legendary businessman like jrd tata you will find those people are highly disciplined mr narayana murthy of infosys so this is a very interesting uh, observation so in 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 your life when you join today you are in the first week of your orientation how are we to improving on a day to day basis or a, on a on a week on week basis how are you are you moving to a, be a better person are we getting into a better habits this is called habits so if you create those habits in a, when the situations become very difficult when the environment becomes very challenging when you find the market situation is really difficult then you will be able to survive 
provided this uh, this area you have mastered uh, with reference to uh, on a day to day life and 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 there is no substitute for hard work people want uh, to achieve success overnight people want to become billionaires and millionaires overnight see it is it is a sheer hard work it is uh, which which has to uh, people want uh, life to be very easy if uh, if you want things to be easy you cannot uh, get into achieving some important milestone there has to be sufficient hard work and uh, there is no substitute for hard work and uh, hard work means putting sufficient effort i would call it as you don't need to i mean i i don't consider that going to mount everest as hard work see mount everest you go there you will not find oxygen so you need oxygen to but i do i won't call those things normal for putting some while achieving certain milestone there is a sufficient quantity of effort which has required to be put so uh, suppose today if you know my name as uh, bala uh, it requires six times for you to know that uh, that my name is uh, you come across my name six times then only you will remember me that means if you are reading a particular topic uh, company law or you are doing accountancy or you are going to study business management or uh, or any of the specific special areas like economics you you need to keep revising you need to some five six times then only you will be able to recall you have to write and you have to do case studies you have to do extra like today you have internet you have uh, you know in your hand all the information in the world so you 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 have enough opportunities to learn the same topic from multiple sources which you should uh, utilize for the purpose of your learning uh, this is another very uh, very um, uh, necessity necessity for success see one is uh, discipline is very different from um, uh, discipline means self regulatory and all this is slightly this being organized Uh, requires a very uh, you know well prepared model so this will help you to not to do crisis management this will help you to not to put you in tr- trouble this will help you to revise multiple times so success is assured uh, when you are more organized so uh, so i i i suggest that every student has to have to do list on a daily basis and uh, preferably prepare it in advance yesterday only the pre- earlier day and then uh, during the day monitor that to do list and at the end of the day see where what we have achieved so this is a very essential skill for being successful and in when you want to start up your own business or when you are going to a company being a boss or when you are so being organized will help you to achieve your objectives one of the essential things uh, in this is also having goals so you create specific goals you measure uh, you know uh, goal setting you know you get into uh, measurable goals you know you achievable goals you keep uh, looking at the goals uh, regularly and you have to you'll have a time frame to achieve those goals that all these things comes under being very organized uh, being organized uh, has helped many people to reach their uh, destination of uh, success so so this is one area where uh, in your college life if everybody has the same 24 hours but uh, why some people are able to do better and why some people are not able to do so much better is because of this one important aspect called being organized another area where we find uh, uh, performance going wrong or uh, things going wrong is not being consistent see you you it is possible that in a week or in a month or during certain period of your life some some other things come in play somebody getting married somebody you know family member passes away or some we get into situations which are beyond our control and uh, and if we 
have this area of having consistently i have been playing cricket consistently i i have been uh, you know getting into public speaking on a consistent mode or consistency is the hallmark of a professional so it is very essential that people develop this particular uh, methodology of being consistent in uh, what they tell and what they do and you know how performance consistent uh, in their uh, model the, the the other area which uh, which i felt uh, there is something known as learning style each one's learning style is very uh, different and uh, and uh, some people uh, listen to the faculty and then mm. learn some people uh, you know uh, are required to write two three times or they write they hear so some people don't need both but they just read the material one time they read the material that is good enough and there are some people who want to do things and then learn that is doing and learning so so what happens such people have to get into some internet search looking at certain companies or doing uh, going to a practical exposure by way of a training program or regular uh, so this is this is this is one of the essential things in learning and you need to identify your own learning style in which uh, situation you are able to do very well in which uh, whether if you attend to a lecture you are able to uh, learn that stuff or if you are going to do two three times reading making some points making some presentations or if you do an assignment by your writing so one has to combine all the all the four models reading writing uh, listening and also doing some projects and group study model and practical experience the, these things uh, will help you to learn the topic in a better way a faculty who comes to the class is uh, he or she is able to do only to the extent of about 30% balance 70% should come from you that comes through various model which has been detailed here some people want to do question answer model some people want to do project model some people want to know the concept they want to get into the detailed why what how so conceptually they want to be extremely strong some people will be very successful if they say that i am going to teach somebody and they prepare for that lecture they will be able to show interest and learn the topic better than when they are uh, trying to write for an examination so so my uh, recommendation to all the students is that uh, for every topic on a daily basis what is being taught in the class you use multiple uh, styles of whether you want to make notes whether you want to make ppt presentations or you want to do excel worksheets whether you want to uh, read two three sources of different materials and uh, and nowadays we have uh, youtube uh, lectures available on the same topic so you have uh, uh, multiple uh, sources of technology content available for you at your disposal on your fingers tip so that you should use to uh, to become uh, more familiar with the topic which you are trying to learn another area which i thought i should tell you is the uh, if uh, somebody is going to teach you what is uh, demand supply or you are somebody is uh, explaining what is gdp and how uh, interest rate is used for the purpose of controlling inflation by the central banks across the world see you you have today multiple uh, uh, in, thanks to internet you 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 can do enough research on that topic uh, how balance of payment is affecting certain countries how an economy like sri lanka and uh, uh, are suffering with certain issues so 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 you can do a lot of research on this particular aspect so research is uh, one area where 
I mean, you don't need to wait for your teacher to do a research project or ask you to do a research project. You should do it on your own. You you should uh, you you should do on your own when uh, when uh, when you when you are in the learning paths, when you are interested in learning, you will do that. The second area which I thought I should recommend to you is re re reading regular news items on a on a consistent basis. So daily news, you know, daily business news, daily uh, news on various aspects of economy and uh, business and other areas. What is happening on consumer pattern? How how the import export is happening? What is happening to the uh, monetary policy of Reserve Bank of India. So you you need to keep reading and news uh, items, news channels are one more uh, source of uh, uh, of uh, of learning. And I I, I hear uh, I I am uh, you know if you, even uh, Mr. Niranjan Hiranandan himself, I I keep uh, following him and what are the areas he is focusing on how. He is able to see the connect the dots. See, what is important is if, when you are having macro view and you constantly uh, regularly scan the environment, you will be able to connect the dots. Which uh, by doing the connecting the dot, you will be able to be ahead of others. You will be able to make some better decision making and things like that. And the third area of source of various information and doing research is also the the annual report of companies. You not only annual report of the yearly reports and um, you know board of directors report and uh, various integrated reports and all. There is also quarterly financial statements, quarterly information, quarterly financial results which keep coming. So 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 the, so the annual report is a very uh, uh, serious uh, disclosure by the corporates to their various stakeholders. So one has to keep uh, keep learning. Say so suppose you are studying. A property, plant, and equipment. You can take some 10, 15 companies' annual reports and go through what is the accounting policy, how various classification is there, what is the useful life, how the Schedule 3 information has been disclosed, and things like that. So, what, what I'm trying to tell you is that there are a lot of, uh, you know, it, apart from your textbook, apart from your study material, you have a lot of other information which you should use. And which we should uh, we should consist constantly keep uh, uh, seeing uh, for the purpose of learning. I, I I recommend at this young age you have a lot of energy and enthusiasm and time, and you should uh, also college also will support you or mm. they will be looking at many students may be doing uh, you know mm. uh, the other. Uh, certifications, whatever, maybe whether it is uh, CA, ICWA, ACS, or you are doing ACCA or what is known as um, uh, uh, ICF, whatever, uh, the, the CFA level one, level two, level three. So so you 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 have, uh, you, during this period of this three years or five years, you try to work on those NISM certifications are there. So you you can you can keep learning from uh, that, that will help you uh, to also productively use your time. Many times uh, you know this period from uh, twelve I mean whatever the undergraduate to uh, I mean in uh, in Mumbai they call S one S two I mean uh, what is this um, uh, first year second year third year. So you can uh, you have to look at. Uh, other certifications and see whether you are able to uh, you are able to do that and the, the most important criteria to be successful is not to uh, fear failure and you will uh, you will get into difficulties uh, and you will fall you will get into uh, situations of failure and things like that things will go wrong and you need to be determined to be successful nothing wrong in falling but every time you have to get up and you have to face the challenge. This is a determination. You need to be uh, determined to achieve. So if uh, if one uh, goal which you set up could not be achieved for different reason, but it is always uh, a model by which you will be successful on something else. So this is this is called determination. I find uh, you know those students 
who do not uh, get uh, disheartened by failure uh, or uh, you know difficulties they were more successful when when you see when things go wrong we should be brave to accept that failure and then continue to move on with the next day of our life and definitely that time we will be more successful this determination is is one area which which will make you uh, very successful that uh, that much i am sure of and i have seen many people uh, facing failures like uh, you know if you see dr abdul kalam's book on when the rocket failed when that particular missile failed or the satellite launch failed and uh, so what next time so within 2 years they again they relaunched and they are successful so in your life uh, you will definitely uh, face the failure and uh, i would say that it will make you strong and you should not worry about uh, when you undergo that you should switch off your mind and emotion and move on to the next uh, phase of learning and definitely you will be more successful and i i think this one area of uh, having a strong determination will make you more successful the next area which i find the difference between the so called successful and so far not so successful people is the focus the focus means see the many times people do some five things or eight things and 10 things so they are not uh, bothered to be focused on one thing see you, you are you are focused on one two three at any point of time you can focus on only one thing not 100 things and this and and uh, the opposite of focus is getting deviated or getting uh, you know uh, disoriented from your goal see when you come into a college you have come there to learn you are there for 2 3 years to learn and this is the most precious period of your life and you need to see that that focus is not lost so that that see we are there to learn and we are there to gain value we have to make ourselves more valuable when we leave this college or university that should be the focus and and you need to be conscious about anything which comes uh, in the way of your goal or uh, achieving your goal so that uh, distractions and that type of you know those things uh, uh, we all you know my your uh, your principal and your faculties and myself all of us have undergone that age but uh, one of the important uh, criteria is that we need to balance our uh, focus we need to, we will have fun we will have uh, you know uh, cultural things we will have uh, extra curricular activities but we need to balance between our academics and other non academic areas we need to balance it and that focus will help you to achieve a better performance and your your strength should be utilized for the purpose of making you a better person in your life see these marks this academic knowledge will help you you are learning but even at the end of the day you are learning you you are adding value to yourself when you make yourself relevant to the marketplace when you go into the marketplace whatever be the uh, you are doing your own business or whether you want to be a banker or whether you want to be a successful investor in stock market or you want to become in an investment banking specialist or whether you want to become a successful chartered accountant or a successful lawyer whatever the goal which you want to achieve the the regular focus and consistent uh, evaluation of your uh, performance on a regular basis and your effort towards your goal uh, without getting distracted will make you successful Uh, i have found people who show uh, you know some amount of enthusiasm they are shining better than the people who always script or who uh, in fact i have a saying you know there are three types of people one is uh, who are happy always uh, there are other set of fellows who are unhappy always there are set of other people uh, the third set of people who come and when they come inside the happiness goes outside they trouble others they are bullying others or something like that. but my view is when you are in a, in a campus and you are a fresher and uh, the amount of enthusiasm you carry 
uh, around you it will make all the difference see that will uh, help you to uh, be a better person and and uh, enthusiasm is one area is which is very contagious you you need to uh, uh, be cheerful you need to be smiling you need to be constantly uh, working on uh, uh, and that age you have lot of uh, energy and uh, you will be bubbling with lot of uh, you know ideas and i find uh, i always believe that the campuses are the places where venture capitalists should come and uh, put money and invest in future generation and i i find uh, uh, people with uh, positive energy and enthusiasm Uh, make all the make the world around them very more bright and uh, shining and joyful so this is uh, this cannot come from your father or mother or your brother or sister or your uh, faculty it should come from you you should uh, smile you should be cheerful you should find okay how do we make ourselves uh, you know uh, different for the day uh, this is this this area of enthusiasm is one Uh, which will help you to learn a lot of things not one thing you know new things every year whatever today we are using blockchain tomorrow it will be some other technology see so, uh, so you we will uh, we will uh, the world is constantly changing and that uh, change can be faced uh, uh, with uh, successful uh, effort only by enthusiasm and and i i i recommend you to use the uh, library today you have digital books you have google books which gives you free of past books online books uh, reading books help you to learn lot of stuff <clears throat> and books Uh, act as mentors books uh, so you you see the autobiography of uh, eminent uh, people you read autobiography of successful business people today you have books on the business groups today you have books book on tata group well, at least uh, some 100 books will be there on only uh, one group tata group you can see uh, so many books on many many uh, successful companies dell corporation general electric you have g uh, you have books by mr ja jack welch some three books are there winning there's a book by name winning w i n n i n g so there is a book uh, by one person who said elephant can't dance uh, that's written by some former ibm ceo so you you have today books on many topics you want to be successful in banking there are lot of books uh, on banking and the former reserve bank governors have written books and uh, and you know the best uh, i would say the reserve bank website itself is so huge on information on a regular basis and uh, you find uh, uh, information so books book books uh, should be your constant uh, uh, constant source of learning and through books you learn something which you are not experienced so for example uh, there is a book by name it happened in india that is written by mr kishor biyani who established a very successful retail outlet before it got transition to other companies so you you find uh, books as a source of uh, you know multiple experiences and uh, being in the college you have to read uh, regularly books this is one thanks to your instagram and um, facebook and whatsapp and you know what and all social media you use i don't know but still uh, the books uh, as as a source for your for your learning is uh, what i would recommend to all of you and uh, next area which uh, uh, i would say is create you meet people uh, find people who who can help you or guide you uh, who will uh, uh, mentor you will give you ideas who will spend some time with you and who will also uh, show some uh, interest in your welfare your growth so mentors having multiple mentors having uh, regular mentors uh, regular mentors is very very essential so 
so so you mentor mentorship uh, mentors will will not uh, nobody will tell i am going to be your mentor you just tell sir i want to learn this madam i want to help take your help on this so you work on this uh, reading books and uh, having books as mentors also is one topic but having a mentor for your life uh, mentor for different aspects uh, you need to uh, Uh, nowadays with all this linkedin and youtubes and a lot of videos are there available you can without that person knowing that he is your mentor for you you can observe your person and learn stuff from that person you find speeches given by many people people putting their views on public domain through uh, you know uh, different areas so mentorship is one area where i would recommend to you to constantly look for people who will guide you who will uh, you know who will who will uh, try to be your role model who who whom you can observe and uh, take them as your mentors so um, so these are the broad areas i thought i'll tell you uh, so we still have some uh, some 15 minutes time i think so i will uh, take you through few uh, few qualities uh, which i thought i should um, uh see this is uh, see when when you are in your real life you you will be uh, you will be elder brother you will be your neighbor you will maybe your friend will be there when you go to the uh, college your school children will become your juniors you are already in college so leadership is doesn't mean that you need to have title as managing director or chairman or anything like this about leadership being um, in your daily life if somebody is meeting with an accident you immediately go and help then you are a leader that's called situational leadership so on a daily basis uh, you all try to you know uh, practice these qualities which makes a great leader so i i recommend to you to uh, see i i'll take you through some 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 research which i had seen uh, done uh, for uh, you know what are the Uh, qualities which make a great leader so when you are a elder brother for your sister or when you have two brothers or when you have some five six children and you have cousin brothers and all you you are effectively leader you are you are trying to uh, uh, you know when tomorrow you are joining a ca firm as an article clerk or tomorrow when you are joining a company as an employee so you will find there may be situations where you need to demonstrate your uh, good qualities one area where i find is visionary visionary doesn't mean Uh, that you are uh, have to be only uh, you know mahatma gandhi and say independence india like that no you, you everyone even the person who sells the banana on the road side he knows how to make uh, how to create value he borrows money for 10000 rupees buys the kela he sells it for 25000 rupees and he repays the money and uh, he is able to manage the multiple hazards uh, which he is facing on the road side in the hot sun so you need to you need to solve somebody's problem you need to look at see today we all decided that 11 o'clock we'll have so visionary means certain uh, vision of what you want to achieve or what you want to do mm-hmm. so this is one area uh, and one quality which you should develop during your uh, bcom days and uh, your educational days is able to communicate see the successful people which who are relatively more successful than others have that communication ability that is a very major difference whether it is writing or whether it is speaking so you need to be able to communicate and communication many times means listening also so it is not only speaking it is also listening so this is this is one area where we found leaders having ability to communicate difficult matters convince the other people you know so this this is a very important uh, quality you know if you see uh, dr uh, swami vivekananda speech in chicago or uh, if you see uh, obama speech when he was not even a candidate uh, he was about to become a candidate based on the speech in uh, uh, convention in national convention you find people are able to communicate so this is a very important quality and day one nobody is uh, communicator but they practice so whenever you get uh, four five people are there you try to do uh, do different roles five five minutes you divide the topic and you speak 
to develop uh, so this is this ability will to communicate will be we will be able to do it only through practice you need to get opportunity you need to create opportunities and develop that skill this is a very important skill which will help you to be successful and and the third area where we saw people why people are considered as leaders is that they will deliver on their promises they don't do recklessly tell things they don't promise something which they cannot deliver so this is a very measured uh, performance measured uh, uh, promise so this is where uh, people will uh, you know build a trust on you so 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 you need to be careful about what you promise and what you deliver so these are the two areas delivering on promises and we found uh, in my experience uh, responsibility see people are when when you are responsible uh, when you are irresponsible uh, people don't care about you when people are irresponsible they don't get respect but reverse when they are responsible when they are showing demonstrating that they are part of a larger system and they need to be accountable and things like that then they have followers in order to then you will become a leader see this is where uh, important area you are responsible for your time today your parents are putting resources on you to send you to college and within the next 3 4 years you need to come out and then be more responsible for the purpose see, see we cannot be remaining like children forever so we need to slightly uh the growth constantly we grow constantly we have role responsibility see and we we uh, we are from being a son uh, to our parents or daughter to our parents we are going to become family we are going to lead the family we will become the housewife or we will become the head of the family we need to be the breadwinner of the family we will have children we will see this the cycle goes on and when you get into a job market or when you get into running your own business or when you want to become a successful banker or an investor you this this quality of being responsible makes lot of difference and those people who have this responsibility embedded in their mind are always uh, trusted by others and they perform better than others so this is a very important area whenever you demonstrate being a responsibility then you become a better leader and 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 finally we are all human beings we we have we we everyone does their job everyone does nobody is superior nobody is inferior and everyone is unique unique so being a humble uh, is is one area where people have found to be extraordinarily uh, you know successful as a leader see at the end of the day you know a leader uh, 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 comes with basic humility basic humility is the uh, the foundation for uh, your leadership potential i would say that uh, you treat others with respect you listen to others you show empathize with others you listen to others you treat them as uh, basic uh, none other normal human being and under all circumstances then uh, you will be able to be uh, successful this humble is humbleness is one area which which uh, makes you to be grounded and uh, and uh, when you are humble when you are uh, uh, grounded you will not go wrong you will not miss out uh, any uh, you know potential uh, risk or fraud or any of this so so this is one quality see we are not uh, aliens from some other planet all human beings are same so everybody is almost equal for every other matter so you should not bring you know this person is inferior this person is superior based on certain criteria see when it comes to treating others we should treat them with simple respect and everyone is doing their job for their life to make it uh, successful so that is that will come in uh, that will help you to put yourself in other person shoes and understand why that person is doing what he is doing so being humble is one area which we have found 
to be uh, remarkably uh, distinction for successful leaders and the other area which we have found is trustworthy so this trustworthiness comes see when nobody is watching if the camera is not there just copying answer sheets doing somebody's project and then saying that i have done the project see these are all the smallest of the things but trustworthiness is is something which people should uh, should try to be always true to themselves in front of the mirror you stand and you need to be honest to yourself and do things then when you put other people's interest more importantly than your own interest you become trustworthy so you you try to this is one area where uh, where we found that uh, people who are not trustworthy cannot become leaders and in the long period they become a dummy piece or they become disasters this trustworthiness is one thing which uh, you don't need to wait for your somebody else to tell you how you can become this is simply you have to treat how you will treat how you will treat others interest as, the, as your own interest see then you will become trustworthy basically this quality is one area where you need to see that uh, people uh, in fact i remember um, uh, somebody um, uh, when we asked a very successful person uh, how you became successful and he said that whatever i do people will trust me because they think that uh, i am doing for their interest this is what that person successful leader who was leading about 7 8 crore people he was telling so trustworthiness is something which has to be earned it cannot be demanded so this is a very important quality and uh, in your family in your college in your environment uh, you have to constantly try to do things in such a way that you become more trustworthy Uh, by others around <clears throat> and there is no shortcut to capability we in human resources we call it as skills and behaviors yeah. so on one side you have skills you know and the other side we call it as behavior suppose if i am a, a server in a hotel and i come and bring this water and put down then i don't have a habit i mean behavior is bad but i have the skill of uh, delivering this food item or whatever the uh, chapati or some roti or idli see the skill is one area the, the other one is called behavior so the skill and behavior put together is called competency so and 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 in every area see a successful leader is one who who need not know everything but he knows who will do that when he will do that he will give them resources to achieve those areas so capability is the combination of skill and behaviors and uh, right uh, right uh, skill right people should do the right job in order to achieve a success in the project and uh, people you have to develop your people skills in in when you are in campus when you are so there are two types of people who do individual jobs and those people who work on groups and they do on uh, people in a group So, so so scientists and some specific specially skilled jobs uh, individuals who are highly skilled can do that but uh, most of the projects are handled by people in team work so capability is one area where and one of the successful uh, leadership quality uh, of a successful leader is if he doesn't know something he will say i don't know i can't do it but so and so will do it for me or so and so i can find them to do for me so so and so can will help me to do that or identify so this is a very important area capability Cap- who will who is capable of doing what so this is this is a very uh, crucial leadership uh, ability and in team management and uh, in successful organization this happens and in your in your 3 years or 5 years you you create you create different capabilities it, we call it as it takes about 6 months for one competency to get developed 6 months it takes so you, you are going to be 3 years means so maximum you will develop six competencies uh, uh, so but but definitely you will be able to do more because you have more subjects so you need to know whether you are very strong in theoretical subject or you are very strong in practical subjects numerical uh, related things or analytical related things technology skills people skills you need to uh, different topics like marketing different topic like accountancy company law taxation 
ஹியூமன் ரிசோர்சஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆர்கனைசேஷனல் பிஹேவியர் சேல்ஸ் அண்ட் மார்க்கெட்டிங் இஆர்பி சிஸ்டம்ஸ் so technology uh, so you need to you need to find out you know regulatory compliance legal uh, topics so you need to figure out where where you will develop these uh, you know uh, these capabilities and another area which uh, which is very crucial is being decisive many times people are not decisive they just say they are wishivas over a period of time you should be able to develop uh, uh, being decisive on matters right or wrong okay you take some decision and proceed with that or learn or uh, you know you have to put effort on on certain things so decisiveness is one more quality which is successful leaders possess and the next area is an authentic authenticity the authenticity is uh, is is uh, i mean there is a slight difference between is trustworthiness and authentic the authentic is alignment between internal and external even for the smallest of the smallest of the matters don't tell lies don't go in this is alignment between internal and external so authentic means people trust you people uh, people believe in what you are telling what you stand for so they feel that under no circumstances you will compromise uh, value system and things like that so so this is another area which uh, 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 which distinguishes between successful people and not so successful people and the next area which i thought i should uh, tell you or maybe this may be the last point in my presentation on successful leaders is genuine and respectful see these the successful features are are uh, successful people and successful leaders are genuine they are not dummy they don't tell something they don't think something else and tell something else so they are genuine and they are respectful and they show respect to others they empathize with others they listen to others so showing respect is a very big area so genuine and respectfulness is 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 an, another another important area and uh, i thought uh, this these are the areas for um, uh, for um, for successful leader these are the 10 points which i i thought any question answer i think uh, fairly Uh, i have given uh, very this uh, this three this three years uh, i would say 1000 days i would call it as 1000 days because you will have holidays and all but the 1000 days should make a lot of difference in your life and this is the most enjoyable period of your life and i want you to utilize this period for your uh, your life so that your life this becomes a milestone for the success of your life and i'm sure that you are going to do well in your life and any question answer there any doubt is there i'll be happy to answer thank you i thank uh, uh, hsnc university for inviting me for this uh, program so i would be happy to take some questions if uh, somebody is willing to take the questions and uh, pass it on to me i'll be i'll be great hello sir uh, i'll be handling the q and a so i'll just prompt the question to you so the first question that has come across is sir what is the way to practically learn a concept we have only two options either read or listen see the concept uh, see my uh, see when i started teaching uh, some 30 years back i used to think uh, concept uh, learning is only reading and uh, or uh, what all uh, this person has written what what what, what is that what, what is the two two what is the two options this person has written either read or listen ah so read or listen is is reading your textbook but a concept you can learn from public, public information application is the main thing see see it is one thing to read about ice cream and it is another thing to eat the ice cream so you see the 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 the, the, the how much ever uh, you write and read or lecture about ice cream is totally different from having an ice cream so 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 that is what i would say that when you are uh, learning any concept don't stick to only reading and listen you go into doing research on what is the application of that particular topic in real life how how the united states is changing the interest rate in order to control the inflation what is government government of reserve bank government of india through reserve bank of india 
I mean, Reserve Bank is the Central Bank of India. So, uh, Reserve Bank of India is trying to fight inflation. Well, how how that interest rate increase or decrease can affect the economy and what is the principle? So, I would not advise you to do only reading and listening, but do your own homework. So, over a period of time, discuss with your friends. When you are with some three, four friends, you discuss group discussion. Then multiple ideas will come. You will get more clarity when you are discussing. So, as a, I mean, when I when I am a faculty, I also uh, make the people divide into groups and they debate among themselves. They make presentations. So, those are the areas when meeting of minds takes place. The more clarity will come on the topic. It is not only uh, listening and uh, writing or reading. So, you need to apply. See, it is one thing to uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, one thing to eat the ice cream and uh, read about ice cream. So this is this is when you get into actual uh, implementation of the principle, then you will see the real fun in what is happening. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we have the next question. Uh, yes, sir, there is a mixed opinion for pursuing CA. Some say it is too much burden, but some say it's a professional cost. So you will be paid well and you will get a better exposure of the corporate world. What is your take on this, sir? Uh, uh, I mean, not only CA, any course, including HSNC University and any university, any college, if the question paper comes in WhatsApp, and Facebook, they will, my students will answer it better than question papers. So, so today the attention span of the students has come down. So they, they are not willing to, so, so the chartered accountancy course uh, as such uh, has been viewed as a very difficult course in the past so many years, including now. But today the perception is also changing, undergoing a change and there is also a effort from the uh, chartered accountancy institutes also to make it become a little, little bit easier also. But in any in any examination, whether it is NEET or whether it is a IIT exam or any IAM entrance or any course, the faculty has been given a guidance. 40% of the question paper should be uh, very easy uh, and 30% should be moderate and 40% should be extremely difficult. So this is a normal for any course, not only for CA. It is there for every course. This is the broadly, this is how they give uh, the question paper model. So CA course uh, is viewed as, definitely viewed as a difficult, where it is easy to get in and difficult to get out. Say uh, in Mumbai railway station, if you go there and stand near the uh, peak cars, you stand near the gate, you are inside and you are outside depending upon the railway, uh, railway station. So, and the crowd will go there together and crowd will come out. CA Institute uh, exam is extremely easy to get in, but extremely difficult to complete. I agree with the finding, but it is very, uh, when, when, uh, when something is extremely difficult and when so many people, one lakh people are not able to do, I would say that uh, if I am prepared to do it better and I am organized and I am disciplined, I put card, it is easy for me because I am doing something which others are not doing. So you can take it other way around and say if, uh, if uh, only two lakh chart documents are there or five lakh, two lakh, two and a half lakh chart documents are there, it's going to be helping me to uh, be one of the top three lakhs or four lakhs people in the population. That is one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is fine. Uh, and many times people also get into what is known as uh, the the all the papers, all eight papers, they try to do it one time. No, don't do it. You do pep four by four. Four papers you take and study and pass. Other four papers you take and study, pass. It is easy. It's not going to be very difficult. In fact, if you take, I have been a faculty for CPA, there the pass percentage is 75%. And and uh, and my all our students uh, score 95%, not 95%, only, only Indian students <laughs> pass CPA so heavily. So the amount, if you take the total population of total CPA in the world and uh, people from India, I would say more than 70% will be from India only. So what I'm trying to tell is our Indian students who have passed 10th standard and 12th standard, no, no course can be difficult for them. See, they, they, it is only simple hard work and you have so many options. You don't need to do only CA. You have CFA, you have ACCA, you have so many options. So you don't need to worry about it. And, uh, and I think you will be successful. 
thank you so much sir sir can i take up one or two more questions yes sir please and one more thing i last uh, when before i uh, move to the next question see it's okay sometimes you fail it uh, doesn't matter you you again you write the same thing with uh, difficult so okay what is going to happen fail, fail. see our students are not able to take failure from first standard onwards they want to always be in the class one so why why people get into stress in iit because uh, you are in the school among 60 people you are the first rank but when you go to iit all first first rank fellows from all colleges they come there so among the 60 students in the iit also there should be somebody who is first standard first and somebody should be 60 so what i am trying to tell is failure is is okay you you did not pass this time okay you forget about it next time you do well next time you prepare well. what is wrong in that many times people are not able to digest and they try to put uh, their self respect and their public image and all don't do that you are studying an exam you are passing if you don't pass okay next time you do better or if you are ca is not okay you do something law course you will become a successful lawyer something like that uh, i can't hear you so the next question is in the opportunities okay. for public speaking like i have interest in public speaking but i don't know how to explore it if you could please guide us see public speaking is is the ability to communicate orally to large number of audience okay so that that can be applied in different areas you can become a successful lawyer in a court you can you can be a successful faculty in a, an academic institution you can you can do uh, i know people who have taught some thousand students at the same time and become successful so public speaking means it is just not you know i cannot be speaking in front of you know if i keep on speaking like this after some time i'll find nobody in the entire uh, you know this uh, audience so successful ability to speak mean make some points make some differentiation make them learn something new so there is lot of opportunity for public speaking and you can become an analyst you you go there attend the analyst conferences in many uh, large public companies you can become corporate communication specialist for the purpose of uh, investor communication so you you handle the calls for the company to give the information about the company's performance to the public so there are a lot of opportunities uh, and you get into a structured methodology of learning this there are courses available which will help you to in whichever field you you want to be successful you can make your difference and you can become a legislator today uh, being a politician getting into politics also uh, where you speak to large number of audience this is a very big uh, thing and people are seriously getting into this as making a difference for the public you know, they they feel that educated people and positive uh, contributors are required for the community so you can make a successful career out of public speaking provided you decide which course and which area you want to make a difference very good question uh, sir next question is my personal question so you talk you spoke about the importance of books and good reading habits so what are your top two or three favorite books which you recommend are a must read for college students so oh, uh, undergraduate this particular students or generally so undergraduate students so they have just started their first year of degree college so what are the books with essential books which you feel would be helpful for them i i I'll, i'll i'll give some authors they they i mean i i i would say that those authors books you can read okay so so one one uh, author whom i strongly recommend is uh, dr abdul kalam's books see he he has uh, uh, has covered wide aspect you know wings of fire and things like that so you find a, a good amount of uh, uh, general principles of how to approach failure and, and how to approach uh, studies and how to go about making uh, your life successful so dr abdul kalam's books i i am i am a big fan of uh, his uh, his uh, readings and uh, his uh, literature 
uh, in India, if you take some of the business books, a lot of business books are there. Uh, you know, uh, LNT chairman has written a book. Uh, you read about uh, JRD Tata's books are there, JR about JRD Tata. So you find certain uh, specific topics, you know, of I, I would uh, not I would not uh, confine to one particular uh, specific uh, individual, but you have a lot of books on these uh, successful business. General Electric, for example, uh, you have books from uh, Jack Welch who talks about winning W I N N I N G winning. So you find uh, Western authors and Indian authors. I I would say autobiography of a lot of people are there. Uh, you you need to uh, I would recommend uh, such uh, such authors uh, and and all these things you cannot substitute other than you have to read your textbook at least three times. <laughs> See that uh, you can't say nah, I read this and I read that and I read that. See we need to also and uh, and I would recommend all these annual report particularly for those who are studying. Uh, and the commerce and uh, business management students, the annual reports are the Bible. So you take the top 50, nifty 50 companies, annual reports, two, three years, you read that lot of uh, information, you will get to know about them. And a must to read is daily, daily one business uh, newspaper. So you read at least Economic Times or, uh, or Business Standard or or uh, the uh, mint, mint, uh, the mint. So, and then also the the monthly magazines are there, business world and all. So that also gives you a lot of insight about the emerging books, emerging topics. So you find uh, some three, four pages articles every month on business India, business world, business today. All these are good uh, uh, sources of good. And daily uh, internet today, you get Google News. You, you have business section. You can keep reading that. So I would recommend these uh, these uh, these areas and if uh, if you and share share good good books with your friends see it is very important to do because if all all books cannot be purchased by one person so you you distribute books so you buy books and give books you share books with others and go to the library and you will find a huge amount of books which will be there and public libraries also Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so, sir, uh, I would like to now formally propose a vote of thanks. Thank you. So, we have come to the end of this wonderful discussion. And uh, I would heartily thank Mr. Vala Subramaniam for his kind words and knowledge being delivered to the HR students. As truly said, knowledge opens the door to opportunity, achievement, success, and wealth. Mr. Subramaniam has today uh, spoken to the students about the quit essential things they need to learn in life and to improvise. So thank you so much, sir. Uh, I feel that your learnings today will make the students add more value to the society in the upcoming years. Uh, Mr. Subramaniam, through his kind words, has opened ground to all students to explore their own interests and to apply these learnings. Once again, thanking Mr. Subramaniam for his presence and to all the students present here for their active participation. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I can log out now, madam. Yes, sir. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank thanks, you. thanks a lot, madam. I thank uh, HSNC for this opportunity. We start. We start. <laughs> oh, we are going to start. We will start those who each other online. We will start with the introduction.
Can we start? Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. We are delighted to have with us Mr. Vilas Tavre, and it's my opportunity to introduce sir. Sir has 35 years of versatile experience in oil and gas industry, working with leading national, mega multinational, and pioneer private India exploration and production companies. He was at the forefront in the lead, the thought leadership on unconventional gas in India and helped in changing the perception of CDM development, die risking of portfolios, and creating a sustainable model for long term monetization of key assets. Sir has been with the SR company and was a pioneer in CDM exploration, helping to attain India's largest unconventional ENP player status in terms of largest peak production number of wells. He has supported the government in its vision, India towards gas-based economy by participating in discussions on various policy initiatives towards it. Sir has represented India at various national and international forums, emphasizing on the diversified environmental impact of global warming and highlighting the under-recognized role of methane emission and its sources as major causative agent. He recommends to have a holistic approach towards global warming, considering that all gases and businesses contribute to it. Sir has published several papers at national and international journals. We welcome you, sir. And sir is here to discuss and tell the students about the management lessons by the topic, Chiranjeevi Shivaji, the management guru. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sweta and Puna, for a detailed introduction. <laughs> what we call HS... HSNCU. HSNCN. Welcome, HSNCN. The other way we were discussing, by the time you, have, you are out of the college, you should have a brand of, like we IIT and I, we call it as a COPN. So you will have a brand of HSC, HSS. HS NCL. You are ready for that? Yes. Okay, I know everybody is on mute, so uh, that's why I like a uh, live uh, thing. But anyway, uh, technology has changed. So, how many uh, roughly when we I studied Shivaji, it was mainly uh, what I could recollect was Shivaji as a warrior. Basically, uh, if you recollect two, three incidents, can anybody, anybody tell uh, what they recollect about Shivaji? They can raise their hand and uh, Dr. Shweta or Punam can control it. Yes, sir, definitely. Students, sir, let's ask a question. Please, you can raise your hands and answer. So I want two, three answers. What do you know about Shivaji? Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Yes, okay, students. Okay, brave. One has answered brave. Brave, yeah, good. Okay, Any more answers. More answers. Any other? Strong. Any incident? Any 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 uh, historical incident you recollect? So let me be candid. What I recollect is there are three or four incidents of Shivaji. I will speak in between Marathi to get that flavor. Afghanistan, Abzal Khan, so how he killed uh, Abzal Khan. Shai Sehgan ki moto da pali, so Lal Mehr in, uh, in Pune, he was running, but he, his fingers were shot uh, uh, cut uh, by the sword. Or, Playing away from Agra. So these are the two, three things which immediately comes into the mind. But uh, even before uh, 350 years, Shivaji was one of the perfect management guru. So let's go to the presentation, first slide. Am I supposed to handle or you are supposed to handle? Yeah, there it is. So, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir, you are audible, sir. The management guru, uh, 
See, this year uh, we we had a uh, to be very a friend and coming from RSS School of Thought. So we thought in this year instead of uh, celebrating Shivaji Shiv Jayanti or Shivaraj Jayanti, what we call a Hindu uh, Shivaraj Jayanti, we should uh, focus on the aspect of Shivaji, which is not taught for the students who are there now. But now these lessons have come in fourth and fifth standard of uh, at least. Uh, we call it as a state board. So fourth, uh, center fourth uh, is three book is completely on Shivaji management. Uh, Shivaji the management group. Go to the next slide. So Chhatrapati Shivaji Raja Bhosle was the founder of the Maratha Maratha Empire which lasted the until 1818. And at its peak, covered much of the Indian subcontinent. How far did it go? Any one or two guesses? Kitta Bada Maratha Empire, I think uh, it was peak in uh, 1758. Panipat is not, uh, there was a turn down. So uh, you can type the answer, uh, Dr. Shilta Singh can, uh, or uh, anybody can access it. How far it, uh, it went? Sorry, sir. Anyway, uh, there is something on the chat. I don't know whether I can access it. I know. Okay, so they have written uh, Shivaji Maharaj was the first one who built Navy force to fight Battle of Navy. It shows he is strong and fearless person. Uh, my specific question was how big was the Maratha Empire? which Shivaji started in uh, 1674, he was the crown king and then he expanded. Uh, he expanded to a large extent, uh, right up to Punjab and yes. uh, this side was uh, uh, up to Rajasthan and then it was further expanded. Go to the next slide, that will be the indication. See the Maratha Empire, right up to Peshawar. Then uh, part of Kashmir was covered, only that Panipat and Delhi was under Mughal and then we had a Nizam in Hyderabad, otherwise whole of India, whole except Kutch, was under Maratha power. This is uh, the map of uh, 1758 and then there, uh, there was a third battle of Panipat where uh, slowly the Maratha empire started declining. So almost covering whole of India, we had uh, earlier uh, rulers like Gupta, Gupta Empire was much bigger than this, even the Maurya Empire covered pa Patna and other things. So they were, uh, they, they were in the earliest, century, but the latest one having the biggest empire was Maratha. Had this been there, probably British uh, would, have, would not have been able to enter because a lot of systems were uh, uh, put in place by Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. So one by one we will go to their uh, uh, management uh, uh, capability. Go to the next slide. So uh, yeah, there is a there is a slight dispute somewhere. Those who have studied in Marathi medium, they must have studied 19 February 1630. I studied in English, uh, it was, it is uh, 19 February 1627, but actually now the government has found out 19 February 1630 is the official date at Civil Report. He died at the age of 50, that is April 3, 1680. He had so many wives, Sai Vai, Swara Vai, Kashi Vai, Puta Vai. Do you know what is the reason for this? अभी तो एक पत्नी का कायदा है उस समय शिवाजी ने मैरिड अलमोस्ट एट एट टू नाइन द रीजन फॉर दिस वॉल देर वर मराठा सरदार एंड देर वर फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट इच अदर नो ही वांटेड टू लिंक देम विथ इस फैमिली सो ही ही मैरिड वन ऑफ द गर्ल इन फ्रॉम दैट सरदार सो दैट ऑल देर सरदार्स नो तो दैट वाज द पार्ट ऑफ द स्� of bringing all Marathas together. Of course, as you know, Shahaji was his parent, Jija, Jija Mau, uh, Jija Mau, we said, or Jija Bhai, we said, or Jija Mother, son Sambhaji Maharaj, 
and Rajaram two sons, Sakubai and uh, Ranu Kaka, they are the two daughters, and uh, there was there was one more daughter, Bali Bai, from uh, Mudarpur, Soira Bai. So that's the Shivaji's uh, initial family tree. Now we have a big tree, so there are people uh, uh, in Satara, like in Sahli, even, even in Kolapur, the descendants are there. Chandramani, Chau Maharaj, President Chandramani, or Udayan Raja Bhosle are there. Go to the next slide. So now we come to the actual... Uh, okay, okay. Influence of Gijabai. So she uh, she was the one who had the complete influence on Jivaji. Her uh, his mother made a very indelible impression on him with the teaching, and uh, Shivaji learned the mistakes what his father Shahji did, and had an exceptional military capability which were developed by Dijau. Dijau started uh, studying at the age of four, so. And he installed a nature of law of self determination and aversion to external political domination. I don't know, I, I would have liked to, uh, to have a more interactive session. Who was the winner of Miss World last year? Anybody recollect? They can type it and uh, have, you, have you heard uh, Arushi Chiller, right? Can anybody confirm? So anyway, Miss World, uh, Arushi Chiller was known as Miss World and the question which, uh, which uh, the final question which was asked, which is the most difficult profession on the planet and the answer was mother and that, that answer really stunned the audience and then she listed out the what mothers, mothers do. So after that, there was study carried out in USA. What is the value of a homemaker? We call it all the lady as a homemaker. And they calculated the various activities she did and the tangible income of the homemaker in US is around $7,800 per month, which is much, much more than an average salary, average is 4,500 to 5,000, unless you are in the premium uh, industry. So this was the tangible income. Mother they used to compare uh, two hours or two things. If you hire two hours, two hours two, what will be the, what you have to pay? So this is the value of mother in terms of tangible, but intangible, growing of the children, I am here because of my mother. We were in a small, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, Lalba area, and I think you may have mentioned that we all four uh, children there in, in 10 by 10. But the mother had a determination ki, I should get out of this and uh, create a, a, a future for all the four kids, and, and we are all doing good. So I say, I owe my uh, uh, this, uh, whatever, whatever I could do my mother because she, she was determined to make my uh, study of course uh, study was the first priority and she moved into the localities where study was considered important so in Dalva the area study was not important work was important but then we moved to area where study and there was a competition where we all four of us uh, are doing very well in their own profession so that's uh, the uh, contribution of the mother. Ask her to sit down at home and make a bed for him. It's a job, man. Okay. Well, our son has told us that he has to make a bed. So, today, go and make a bed. So, her contribution to your life. Next. Next slide, please. So, this was one of the main aspect of uh, uh, of. Uh, of founding uh, the uh, foundation of the empire, Raj Mudra was there. So, glory of Raj Mudra of Yawali was it will grow like the first day of the moon and it is a worship time and uh, it will shine only for the people and life of the people. 
Yesterday, yesterday I was discussing with the coin collection expert. So 20 years before, he could get his coin for one dollar. Today, when you go to that uh, historical coins uh, uh, website, people are ready to pay two crores for this single coin. So this is, I think, uh, giving more return than the bitcoins. Uh, can you imagine, uh, 20 years before it was costing 1 lakh, but he didn't have 1 lakh at the time because he was a student. And now he can't uh, afford that 2 crores of rupee. So that's how uh, it's valuable. This had a commercial impact, which we are going to discuss in the next slide. Can we go uh, to the next? So we we'll go to the leadership traits of, uh, of uh, Shivaji. So Shivaji was not just a ruler, but he had a very sound uh, leadership techniques, which uh, of course were appreciated by all. Go to the next slide. See, I am not going to discuss about his war, his uh, things which he did, he expanded and empire. I am just focusing on the Shivaji as a management group. So he established a fair administration. There was a collection of income tax, uh, income tax in terms of uh, revenue, in terms of your farm, farm generation or any other collection. He employed civilians to collect the tax. He also had an established cost, affordable loans to farmers that time. So, uh, and, and he had a provision of giving of the farm. He has a method of giving uh, the farm loans in, in case of drought, etc. And his, uh, the way he handled the situ uh, citizens, uh, the way he converted the Maulas into warriors, it's all, all, all very, uh, in a very efficient way he managed. Even Aurangzeb uh, applied, uh, um, appreciated Shivaji's uh, administration. And uh, we will talk about squat, strain, weakness, of opportunities and threat. I don't, I don't know whether you have learned in uh, 11th and 12th, but probably you will be learning in there. So he did a spot analysis, spot type analysis after uh, the escape of Agra, Agra and then based on that, uh, the original uh, capital, which was Rajgad, was moved to Raigad. Raigad is a uh, port uh, in Konkan near Mangal. So now that became the uh, capital where uh, it's uh, his uh, coronation ceremony took place. And then uh, he started building, uh, capturing uh, various sport. So this was a uh, part of his, uh, he had a vision of having a big empire and a system to run that empire. Next. So we are talking about uh, discrimination. Shivaji promoted common people based on their qualification. There was no, no criteria that he should be of this religion or he should of, be of this caste or even, uh, even Muslims were uh, posted in uh, very, very key positions. Chief of Adli was a Muslim, then uh, uh, Chief of Adli uh, were uh, diplomats and when Shivaji attended, uh, visited Agra, on the Aurangzeb's 50th birthday, the, the trusted bodyguard was Madari Mehta, a Muslim teenager who helped them to help uh, them to escape Agra. So this was uh, Shivaji was uh, he, we, we call it as secular or we mainly call it as a uh, treating all all in a in a in a in a same way. There was no discrimination, even. Uh, he, he converted uh, the Muslims who wanted to uh, come back to Hindu in uh, 350 years back and one of his he married his one of his daughter to a converted Hindu. So that region which we are talking now, it was uh, with him 350 years ago. 
it was a complaint. I don't know. I, mean, I, I was. I am amazed. I also studied this uh, in last two three years. He what uh, what type of vision, uh, visionary leader you are, visionary uh, ruler you are. So whatever we are thinking today, he did it almost three fifty years back. So no discrimination. Fair, fair and key position based on their capabilities. And uh, of course, uh, uh, picking the right person for the right job was his quality. Next. So Shivaji, he, he always thought I had of uh, time. So he always thought he, if I have to build an empire, I have to capture the ports. There was a question from the uh, Mughal Empire why he is uh, captain. No, he said it is just to facilitate uh, better uh, administration. Shahji uh, had to reply. But he had a vision of that. So he took many decisions which, uh, which were ahead of time. Uh, and then, it, of course, it was uh, supported by Murar Baji, Baji Kuku, Deshpande, the uh, building of Kondwana, Kondana. Yeah, you must be heard. Adi Adi Lagin Bundana Dhamma Garaiba, so Tanaji Manusare was there. And there were many such uh, things. The, the, the best uh, thing he did is uh, by shifting the capital to Raigad, first he started to eliminate the inside enemies, enemies were nullified. And then he built uh, a Pratapgad, which was uh, very very hard at that Abdul Khan uh, with a small army he could uh, overpower Abdul Khan so these are all uh, ahead of uh, time thinking there were even the environmental aspects uh, which even if you go to the Raigad port we had a Raigad Mohotso in 2016 where exactly uh, uh, the replica of 1675 was there how was the Raigad port where Dijam uh, uh, was sitting, where so yeah, by, their, their rooms were allotted and actually rest of uh, people were there. It was a very good uh, event uh, organized. Uh, I, I went there personally and, uh, and because of rope way, it started, it became very easier to approach uh, the port. Otherwise, we have to go down, but that's also a good thing for young people like you. Uh, I recollect uh, Baba said Purandare planning uh, the Shivaji's escape uh, from where the Baji Babu found uh, in the, that Mahmoudi has come. So we actually we ex exactly followed during our college the route from there to Panala. We, we, tracked, uh, we did a trekking with him. It's a very difficult, but now I think they have made some arrangement where uh, this trekking has become easier. So always ahead of thinking. And uh, he, that's why he was known as an idle person for his idle thinking. In terms of environment, uh, there were uh, many things like, uh, uh, there was a promotion of Sarwan wood, which was required for building ports or uh, the mayors of port. But he said he, it should not be at the cost of cash crop. So biodiversity has to be maintained. Or uh, you should not go, uh, go or sagwan at the cost of mangoes or uh, we call it as a uh, fruit, etc. That tree should be maintained wherever there is a barren land or wherever there is a uh, mountain land. There you grow the sagwan and then that sagwan has to be used for construction. Water management uh, still, if you go to Raigad, uh, you will find the 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 pond is always full 365 days a year. So the, the streams were connected to uh, the reservoir on the right side and sufficient water was available throughout the year. And when uh, definitely when there was droughts, uh, they used to give waiver of uh, waiver of loans to the farmers. So that's a, a big vision he had and he, he followed that vision. Next. Ah, this is the important support to traders. Earlier, uh, uh, leaders uh, were not very uh, 
Raiders uh, were a, a bit aligned community for some of the uh, rulers. Then he he made a, a gave a pro, uh, pro, providing reasonable choice location at discount price where there were tax concession. So Sauka he to Rajya the Bhushan as a business people are the jewels of the nation. We there is a concept that business people are chores. That concept was removed by him. And he he facilitated many ports. There were four or five ports in uh, Maharashtra has around seven fifty kilometers. Today's Maharashtra has around uh, seven fifty kilometers of coastal, out of which uh, around five thirty or five forty was under Shivaji's uh, rule during Shivaji's time. So he built four or five ports uh, uh, like Sindhu, Vijayadu, where the trades can start. He made uh, villages. Uh, he made self-sufficient, and uh, uh, even uh, the interesting part was that uh, wherever uh, the imported goods were there, so like salt used to come from Portuguese. So they, there was a import duty during that time. Import duty on salt on uh, on Portuguese salt, and then there were uh, he made a uh, and, and, and the most part is whatever political changes happens. In Raigad or Rajgad or even Delhi, it is never affected the local people's day to day. That was the best part of it. The trading was going very smoothly, and uh, one thing which uh, he, he had that uh, BT bazaar etc. at certain places they have identified. So one thing which I came to know six months back is he had a trade agreement with three countries. Portuguese, Dutch, and Bain, and the agreement was that they have to pay in Raj Mudra of Shivaji. Okay, so no, they they will be paid with Raj Mudra of uh, Shivaji, and then they have paid. The intention was that against that they will buy the goods from the Indian uh, from his uh, empire. So it was a trade off. So. Uh, अभी हमारा ट्रेड डिफिसिट वो ज़्यादा है तो दैट टाइम शिवाजी के ट्रेड डिफिसिट वो जीरो सो व्हाट एवर रेवेन्यू दे वर कलेक्टिंग थ्रू देयर एक्सपोर्ट बिकॉज़ इट वाज पेड इन राजूद्रा सो नाउ द सेम थिंग वी आर ट्राइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस फोकस ऑन रुपी सो रुपी विल बिकम अ मेजर फैक्टर एंड वंस रुपी बिकम्स अ मेजर फैक्टर योर गुड्स विल हैव अ बेटर वैल्यू वी हैव अ Agreement with Iran, oil where rupee payment is accepted. So now the dominance of dollar is slightly is, is going on decreasing and decreasing. Main was because of the petrol dollar, and from that field I know. So now we have an agreement with uh, Iran, uh, some Gulf countries, or even with Russia, where we did not pay in dollar. The exchange can be between rupees and ruble, rupees and uh, dinar, etc. So that region he had three fifty years before. So traders are the backbone of the society, and they should be given sufficient uh, support to do the trading. Next. So Shivaji is the one uh, who uh, first uh, originated the concept of cabinet. So now we have a cabinet rule everywhere. So he, being a fiscal ruler, and he ruled with just and firm hand. His government had concept that we know that a cabinet known as the Ashtra Pradhan. So there were eight ministers, uh, including uh, Dabir and Intelligence uh, Wing. My next slide shows uh, the details of the ministry. Go to the next slide. So Ashtra Pradhan, as you say, Borupan Pinre was uh, uh, Rajya Sabha, where we call uh, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister. Then uh, Mr. Mulundar was uh, finance minister. So he used to see the uh, income and outgo. Amir uh, Mohinder was senator. He was a defence minister over there. Moreshwar Pandit Rao was uh, he was looking after uh, uh, religion. So we had, they had a uh, religion a minister for religion. Then there was a, a, a nyayish which was part of the establishment. So. That time uh, uh, the the uh, judicial system was not separate, but uh, we used to give uh, 
the judgment on that and he uh, had always give, given a fair judgment anaji dato was uh, uh, was uh, the person who was issuing the gs gazette uh, we call it the gs adhya patra padavani so whatever uh, government uh, orders are there he used to issue that so he was the secretary who was uh, doing that and then uh, we have a dabi was someone who was, uh, had uh, external affairs and uh, we had one vakmis who was handling the communication part so one was issuing of order other was communication so he had distributed all effectively this was the first uh, thing to do uh, to run like a ministry or like a democratic system i have never seen this uh, i i don't know uh, in india but they, i don't know about uh, i am not a historian but this is what one of the shivaji main uh, aspect delegation of powers and be fair to all next so uh, now we come to the best part what are tactics uh, of course the next is uh, just go to the next so shivaji was the first Indian king to cultivate navy in addition to acquiring land. He had 30 shipyards, hundred of villages, and many fishing ports. He controlled over 300 miles, so that's why I said around 480 kilometers out of uh, uh, 480 to 500 kilometers. Now Maharashtra has got a uh, 70 kilometers coastline, and he was he is known as the father of the Indian navy. The main reason to have sea port one was trade, and other was controlling external invasion so that's why uh, maharashtra was quite safe from the external invasion from the sea so all the portuguese etc they could just get hold of goa or what otherwise all the maharashtra coastline was insulated uh, with the sea ports and uh, they were kanuri uh, angle was uh, heading the uh, uh, sea uh, the coastal sea line uh, thing he, he, he is from alibar so developing the indian uh, developing the indian navy and father of indian navy uh, it's uh, shivaji is one of the present in the gap next so gorilla warfare now you are against uh, a very big army so uh, if you if you if you go fight one to one you are definitely go um, when you get defeated so all these uh, mawlas who are very expert in uh, in climbing the forts so they were taught all the all these gorilla tactics and gorilla uh, tactics which were deployed uh, when 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 there was uh, the meeting with abdul khan or even shahid sheikh so one side you have a 15 16000 army and other side you have a Lag and one lakh fifty thousand people, so he knew that this is not going to help us in uh, protecting our empire. So, so this guerrilla tactic was used very effectively, and uh, guerrilla warfare helped him to overcome uh, this great challenge. I think Cambodia is one of the country which has got uh, the freedom through guerrilla warfare. So that's how they. Even in in the twentieth century, they used the guerrilla warfare to overcome the uh, problems they were facing. I just I don't know. Cambodia is a is a country by name. We think it's a African country, but it's not. It's the Asian country uh, beside Vietnam. So there are many countries. Uh, I know this example. There are others also who adopted this. So guerrilla warfare was uh, probably he should have patented it. It was his. Uh, Uh, basically one of the focus they are or a, a new technique to tackle the largest army against you next so fourteen principles of henry fire in 1960 in uh, he, he, he introduced fourteen principles of management but shivaji was the king who already applied this principle to 60 years before 1916, and he created a base of management in 16th century. You can just list down that. Next two slides just list uh, listed out. Next slide. Yeah. 
So division of work, he had a certain authority and responsibility. Everybody was given authority and also responsibility. Discipline was there. If there was a uh, discipline was not maintained, uh, uh, people were uh, head were chopped. Even uh, uh, respect to woman was there. Any any incident of uh, if there was any incident, uh, any complaint against any soldier regarding the woman, it was strictly dealt with, and a very stringent punishment was there. Uh, we we recollect uh, many of the Muslim uh, women being captured were uh, sent back uh, with respect. So, Kalyan just went away soon. That's a popular story, which uh, uh, which she was sent uh, very respectfully back to her house. Subordinate of interest remuneration to the extent possible. All his soldiers were paid in cash. There was nothing like a barter system. Centralization was also there, but unity of direction was also there. Scalar chain was there. There was the order. There was the equity. Equity in terms of religion, class, creed. Stability of tenure. So he he created within six years. So he he, he became a a Chhatrapati Shivaji in seventy four. But within six years he created a stability and expandability. And uh, the I think the uh, the expansion was almost four times what during the Shivaji period was there. Shivaji was up to uh, Gujarat to Punjabar. So I I recall Punjabar because uh, my son was uh, studying science and I had gone to Punjabar. So there is an interesting thing which you would like to know with you, na? So what is Sambar? So Sambar is basically uh, 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 the Sambar's two brother uh, was uh, the Sardar of Punjabar. So the that was the Maratha Empire. Uh, so Sardar was there. So when Sambaji visited over there, uh, they had to make his uh, Kukan's army. So there they didn't form that Kukan. Uh, uh, Kukan me Kukan used to be. They did not form Kukan. So instead of that, they used a tamarind. And whatever the composition of army made, it was quite different. And then they called it as a Sambaji R. And then the word came of Sambar. So Sambar, uh, which we All the South Indian uh, dish we get is is origin to Shivaji's uh, uh, family. He took a lot of initiatives and uh, and give a uh, expression to uh, the top. So all these Indian principles were followed by Shivaji three fifty years before from today. Next. We 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 discuss this other management skill like administration skill, rational decision making. There was effective communication, motivation was there. Sort of innovation needed in terms of uh, environment, in terms of uh, army, uh, how to minimize the risk. So uh, the best example is that uh, he asked uh, somebody to stay at a Brahmin place in Kashi so that. Uh, It would be uh, difficult for him to travel. So, and the Kashi Ali, that Kashi Brahmin called him, uh, called him as his son, and so he was saved. So, minimizing the risks, establishing the sequence of activities. Again, again on judgment, there are various aspects, uh, various uh, stories which we said. Uh, even cutting the uh, when when we see a uh, uh, atrocity against woman, hands are chopped. Literally, and to draw, they were thrown uh, on the Kada uh, Mount Robert on the steep of the hill, and the uh, rest was patience. The patience was displayed uh, during um, escape from Agra. For so many days, sweet boxes were going, and then one day when the the uh, the uh, the Arunjit Dad got uh, bit lenient. Then he escaped through that boxes. So that's uh, the qualities he had. And now we go to the next one. Uh, this is uh, the best example of uh, management with the minimum uh, manpower and with the negotiation skill. He he had association of Dalgan. In fact, uh, uh, 
Thank you so much, sir. Ah, it's not again. We are going to the next. Uh, just ten minutes more. Okay. Okay. Go to, go to the next one. The first one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Go to the next one. 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 मराठी में हम लोग बोलते शिवाजी जन्मला है वहां शिवराज के घर तो शिवाजी शुड बी बॉर्न बट नॉट इन माय हाउस इन द नेबरिंग हाउस बट विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड कि एवरीबॉडी डिड नॉट बी शिवाजी लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड आई विल जस्ट बिकॉज़ यू आर नाउ एंटरिंग इनटू अ सीनियर कॉलेज सो व्हाट इज द द पाथ टू सक्सेस वी ड्यूरिंग आवर टाइम आवर इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन वाज मेजर बट दैट्स नॉट सफिशिएंट गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड There is a success pyramid and relationship pyramid which is coming. So now you are in the college, you are your interaction with the teachers will be less than what was there in the school. So now you have to develop your own. The first basic thing is physical portion. You have to be physically fit and physically presentable so that people listen to you. IQ is a what you get plus minus ten percent can have. The next important is the emotional quotient, which is required uh, to take the decision in distress. The other is the social quotient, which you develop with your friendship. And there is a spiritual quotient. Go to the next slide. Are we running out of time? Yes, sir. Come in time. Yeah. Yeah. So IQ plus EQ, so ability to think. Uh, I think I am not able to see that, but uh, anyway. So IQ is ability ability to think and uh, EQ is uh, no, no, I have, I have so IQ is ability to think and EQ is ability to feel gets uh, through school gets through life not possible to raise IQ level much possible to raise EQ and cannot be learned can be learned. Uh, I, I, I am I am I am a bad manager on the school. 
So uh, I always say front bencher knows uh, the answer to the problem. Back bencher knows, uh, finds out the solution to the problem. That's the difference. So, so anyway, uh, no offense to front bencher, but the back bencher will find solution to the problem. And the front ventures uh, know the answer to the problem. So that's where the EQ comes into picture. Next. Next is the combination of IQ and EQ. So uh, EQ, intelligent quotient, and spiritual. If, uh, spiritual quotient is a combination of EQ and IQ. Next, please. So, so I'm saying that we are short of time. I think people are hungry. So ability to manage people and to say what, what to say and how to present oneself in different social that is the social quotient. My my words in a senior management cadre, there are uh, some top companies check your social status from the detective agencies so that you are doing a fair decision. So your family background and other things are checked behind your back before you are elevated to the senior management cadre because. Always, uh, it gets very difficult to differentiate between your professional life and personal life. So, if you are not happy in personal life, that will impact your professional life. So, these background checks are done by many uh, top multinationals and uh, national companies. Next, just two, three slides more. So, when I give you very constant adversity, quotient plays into your. Uh, just, uh, I can't do it and, and, and you change it to, I can do it. That's uh, how the adversity uh, portion plays into the picture next. This is what uh, the financial portion is the ability to obtain and manage one wealth by understanding how money works. So I, I followed the formula of 25, 35, and now this takes 20 years, 25 years of learning, 35 years of earning so that your next 20 years are safe. So I, I got that confirmed from my son who is the IM 3G MBA, and I said, this is my purpose. So now if you that you have got enough money, now you can do all these in, industrial institute collaboration and talks, etc. You do not you not worry, your cash flow will be there. So, uh, making the money work for you, and now the new generations are always, uh, we thought of 60. My son is thinking of 50. He should retire at 50 and then enjoy the life for 10, 15 years. 60 means you get 5, 10 years. But then uh, I just got to lay and we, uh, uh, not me, but my wife had a horrible time. So, you have to enjoy when you are young. So. Financial quotient is what we add. Make most of uh, uh, out of the money you earn. Next. And this is the last one, data quotient. So data presentation helps uh, the client, clients or audience to spend time grasping the concept. This is one example I've done. I am belong to Sindhuluk and I work uh, with this uh, NGO. We say we have built 8,000 plants. One plant saves uh, 6.5 tons of uh, carbon and sales to 20,000 tons of wood. Again, that doesn't appeal to the corporate. So then we said the uh, 8,000 local plant, buy is of fair, the, the time reduced from day and hour. Again, that doesn't help. The last line we are saying is 6.5 tons with 8,033 biogas plant sales, 52,204 tons of carbon equivalent in the global warming scenario. There is some impact, those who know what is global warming. Otherwise, to understand the actual impact on the environment, the above savings convert into the plantation of 17,40,000 virtual trees. So by building 8,033 plants in Sindhuru district, that Bhagirat Gavrilas Pradeshan with whom we were, we have our 50 biogas in our own village. So one grown up tree captures only 30 bears. They have planted 17.40, 17 lakh 40 thousand virtual trees. So when I say this, then the people grasp uh, what is the actual impact of that. That I call it as a uh, data poster. This is my own work data poster. Uh, so this I have to develop financial poster. You, uh, you will develop in your studies, but data poster also. 
develop. I think that's the end of it. Last is the uh, step over and take risks, focus on career experimentation. Uh, we are in the university where choice based credits still is coming. So you have an option of, uh, I call it as a buffet system rather than a punga. Uh, so find the activity that gives you energy and make time to do it regularly. This was a copy paste, so uh, sorry for that. Yeah. Be yourself and benchmark against yourself, not others. Okay? Sorry, not your peers. So this is very important. You benchmark with your, what was I today? What is the improvement in my and how I am going to further improve? The other person is coming from a different planet. Uske saath kambari nahi karna hai. Uska 90% hai, mera 70% hai. Koi fayda nahi hai. I was not uh, the topper uh, in the college. But if you list uh, the top five performers uh, in my batch, I will be one of them. So, so benchmark against yourself and develop based on that. Continue to pursue your interest and relationship. And now I am also going to I have been uh, direct for it would have been more interesting. And relationship outside the program. So that's it uh, for you. And the last word is. Uh, in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. Step out and take things. That's it. Any questions? We can go for a quick round. Thank you, sir. I'll be handling the question and answer. Uh, students, you can put in the questions in the chat box. Uh, sir, the first question. Am I audible, sir? Yeah. So I was doing one hour of presentation, so I agree with this one hour. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So the first question is, uh, how do we develop our leadership skills? And we want to know it from the man who's a leader himself. So what do you think are the quit, quit essential things for the leadership? How do we develop leadership? Uh, for me, I think the social quotient uh, helped me a lot. So I will give my personal example, uh, uh, and that helped me uh, because I did my uh, engineering graduation from Pune College of Engineering, Pune. Now that is the university. Uh, Pune was a very uh, work, very uh, educational hub. So we used to have a lot of uh, lectures and Kiranjit uh, Bosle and R K Lakshman and Jo uh, Ramaswamy. So all these things. And working together, I developed a social project. Uh, a small example to give which, uh, which probably triggered my elevation to CEO and MD. We had a banker visit uh, Durgapur, the banker of plant was there. And we had a banker visit, me and my earlier CEO, he was from London. So we were in the vehicle ahead and the bankers were following us probably a, a, a kilometer behind. And in between we got a view that the main choke is being blocked by the farmers because of uh, road issues, etc. And uh, my CEO of London got worried. So uh, I said, don't worry. I got, got over at that job. And then uh, I said, you just proceed. See, other arrangement was there. Cell phone was there. And my executive assistant was uh, following me. I told him, just take a detour and see there are, I get 10 minutes. And I went, there were 15 people I said, okay, what is the problem? Then they said, Ki, the road is a the problem. Then I said, Ki, the proposal has already gone to Nabad, we have got a sanction. So they were happy and uh, let's go. Chai pee lete. Cha khalo. Maa ko koi pita. Bengali koi pita. Ye na sa paati hai. Any Bengali they can understand. Chalo cha, chai khalo karke. It was 20 meters away that tea stall was there. We all went there. And within that time, the bankers, the lenders who were to give money that uh, that vehicle passed. And this incident, while handing over, the CEO recommended that under the circumstances of Bengal, Vilas is the best successor for leading this company. And that's how I was selected as a CEO and MD. So social quotient, emotional quotient is also important. Taking this day, uh, decision, right decision in distress helps you. So, uh, I, I know I got a call at Nathanabu 
युवाओं में वेदर इस कैन बी डन बोले यस इट कैन बी डन यू हैव ऑफिशियल परमिशन फॉर इट आई सेड यस एंड नो डोंट गो बट बट द थिंग इन नेक्स्ट टू डेज दिस एक्टिविटी विल बी डन ऐसे करना हमने कर लिया सो एडवर्सिटी क्वेश्चन और वी कॉल इट एज अ इमोशनल क्वेश्चन हेल्प दैट यू हैव टू डेवलप दिस फ्रेंडशिप इंटरेक्शन गोइंग टू वेरियस एरिया uh my son did a very different thing which i can share after his graduation uh, he did uh, he, he worked for ngo for almost 18 months he had a job with lnd but he did not go and he worked for a ngo was take for seva where uh, uh, the corporates uh, innovators and uh, ngos were working together and they can facilitate that project then he developed a app where fishermen can go When the I am interview came, out of the thirty minutes interview, twenty minute was on this aspect. अरे आपको पहले मैं किसे छोड़ा आपने छोड़ा नहीं उन्होंने तो promote किया कि जाओ तुम फिर कहाँ कर रहे तो बोले विराट के किला में गए तो वहाँ चुए मतलब चलिए क्यों कुछ चुए घूम रहे थे then we went then we went to a remote village. So this this ah the बाकी लोगों ने बोला कि उसका दो साल बेकार गया तो बोला दो साल बेकार नहीं गया that was the investment. So now uh, I think uh, uh, Modi government is coming in two years of uh, uh, some training, maybe I don't know what what will be done. But that two years is not a loss. That is the investment uh, which uh, which help him uh, to get a good job. So he, so he was with Arjun Bilal, he was with the major brand, and he got into a, one of the top ten uh, management institute. I think it was ranked nine at that time, uh, and which is. Just because he did something different, so hey, uh, be be different, be yourself, but be different. So the next question is very interesting. Uh, so somebody has asked, how can a leader sort out conflicts between members without being partial? How can the leader sort out uh, with his members without? uh see uh, i don't know the uh, you must have uh, learned about uh, the current following the least resistant path so i always follow the same there are uh, capable people but then the resistant is more so you always find out the way without offending him uh re reassigning the things and uh, and find a current which has the least path and then you get uh, the result so that uh, that night uh, which uh, which we did that critical job i deputed to another regular person i asked somebody else to go and he he got it done so that's why uh, the best is uh, find the least resistance part without offending the other we should not feel that uh, you you say he, you have been given more challenging job and uh, if there is a reason on that particular thing you can keep them happy and uh, I don't know both, but uh, yesterday I got a call uh, from my personal secretary, and she said, "I had worked with ten bosses, and you are the best boss." And you were her mother called me saying that, "Your baby got child." I said, "Well, I am not your mother, but I will be." And yes, if there is something wrong, we learn and say this is wrong, but not in front of others. Call him in your cabin, tell him. That this is not there on your part. सबके सामने डांटे से उसका मॉरल डाउन है। डांटना है तो अपने केबिन में बुला के डांटो। और फिर मुझे आवाज थोड़ा कम लगी थी मेरी आवाज ज़्यादा है तो बाहर जाती थी तो आवाज कम बर्फ के डांटना पड़ता था। लेकिन डांटो तो जहाँ डांटता है वहाँ डांटना पड़े। But uh, डांटना is uh, I will say for uh, not doing. For doing you don't do. मतलब करने के लिए डांटा नहीं करने के लिए समाज नहीं करा। अगर ये मत करो बोलने के लिए जैसे हम लोग बच्चे को बोलते हैं ना बच्चे को मानना कब होता है पढ़ाई करने के लिए मत मारो लेकिन वो गया वो कहीं खिड़की के ऊपर चढ़ा तो उसको मारो तो उसको याद रहेगा नहीं ये करना नहीं चाहिए सो इफ यू हैव डन एनीथिंग रॉन्ग उसको जरूर डाटो बट इफ यू इज नॉट डूइंग इट प्रॉपरली यू गाइड राइट सर आई है uh we say that students today students also need to have a great uh, you know adversity quotient yeah so being a institution how we can develop this quotient for our students 
Uh, probably, uh, I think, maybe, I don't know whether the credit system has come uh, where uh, free credits are given for your yeah. world development sector. Yeah. So this yeah. type of exposure does uh, help uh, in developing the adversary portion. Uh, even uh, uh, the COP Pune has started one week uh, rural development tour. So they start, in the first year they start with the rural uh, de development tour and the last year they have an industrial tour. So that tool has helped uh, people to know what are the problems faced by the people down the ground. And then they know that I am better than them. And then you understand the adversity. And adversity, of course, spirituality uh, also helps in adversity. But taking the right decision in adversity has to be developed. Otherwise, uh, many people get scared to take decision and if you don't take Taking, not, not taking a decision is also a bad decision. Right, sir. Thank you. Sir, can we take up one or two more questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to ask you, I don't know if I'm going to ask you. I had a couple of spoke about the 14 principles of Henry Fayol. Uh, how much do you think they are applicable in today's world? See, basically, uh, that's what I said. When, when it was designed in 1916, it, it was what QIG followed there. But uh, we have a latest uh, management principles coming. So we have to adopt some uh, and uh, and release some. So I. I, I will not correlate with that, but uh, uh, the example now, now US people are uh, becoming vegan. Okay. So, leaving some uh, principles aside and bringing in new principles, the vegan, uh, India's Rushi uh, Munis were eating beef. But then, then they stopped eating beef and uh, they made cow as a sacred animal. Both were under such a thing, so the reason what we used to get is cow is very good for agriculture, etc. But because I am an environmental aspect, if you eat cow meat, your carbon emission per person give you exact. If you are vegan, it is 1.5, if you are vegetarian, it is 1.7. If you are non vegetarian, minus beef, it is 1.9, and if you are beef vegetarian, so it is 3.3 and the average of the world is 2.5. So such a type of review of principle has to be done. Uh, if there are any letters, I will update you later. But yes, uh, the, uh, a century back uh, principles uh, can be fine-tuned based on the uh, intelligence, artificial intelligence available, based on the machine learning available. So there are many things. Uh, I, I recollect uh, uh, Amazon, based on their uh, ordering cycle, they used to send all that item on the first day of the month. And, and then they used to send a message, whatever you don't want, you send it back. So one truck used to go and get it back. Now that 12 or 15 trucks giving that delivery was reduced to two trucks. So this type of uh, management principles can uh, come into picture. Thank you, sir. Uh, anyone has any more questions? Uh, you can put up in the chat box. Students, if you have any other questions. Environment is becoming more and more critical. That's my another area of passion. So luckily, I hope everybody knows Sonam Mangshu. Yes or no? Everybody knows Kungshu Wangru. Yes, so sir. So Kungshu Wangru is Sonam Mangshu. So we, I, uh, I, luckily happened, I could meet him. And we had a discussion about one hour. Yes, that is a very serious issue. He is tackling at his level in uh, Ladakh. The, the houses are designed in such a way that the uh, first uh, tower is only glass, second tower is glass 
and uh, there is the what we call as the heat bag, which is made of husks or uh, cotton, etc. So and uh, the dam doesn't have a snowfall. Uh, layer layer doesn't have a snowfall, but temperature uh, uh, from minus uh, 20 goes to plus 40. But every time you have a sunshine, so it absorbs the heat during the day. Slowly it absorbs the heat. Night it dissipates the heat. And the inside temperatures are maintained are from plus 15 degrees to plus 22 without any AC, without any heater, and everything. Now, yes, got the order from uh, military army to build the bunkers on based on this so that the diesel can be done. So, this, such innovative ideas uh, should come out. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I would, I think, covered more, more, all the questions that were put up on the chat box. So I'd like to formally propose a vote of thanks. So thank you so much, sir. With your enriching experience, you have been the perfect speaker for such topics. Brilliantly explained management lessons practiced during Shivaji Maharaj's regime, including the 14 principles of Henry Fayol. You've also highlighted the importance of different portions in life, which, uh, which is very important. His, your kind words have surely made students learn such a topic, but definitely with an interesting twist. We put forward a special thanks to Mr. Villa Savre for taking out time to deliver such practical skills to our HR college students. Thank you so much, sir. Only the last line, uh, in the end, uh, we only regret the chances we didn't take, step out and take leads. So, a uh, same presentation I was giving to UPS University, uh, uh, there are they were also just joined. So, I told them, if a girl likes to ask, 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 That's not the end of story. One, one girl and two dogs said, I want to ask question. Why you said a boy and girl? It can be a girl also. So, see, you also take chance. So, that's step on the light and note. So, so not, not on this, but on our aspect, uh, you, you should not regret the things uh, we are, uh, the chance we didn't take. So I took a chance, I have, from when you see, I went to SR, that was a risk, but it worked. Uh, from Maharashtra, safe environment, I went to Durgapur, uh, to work, uh, which was supposed to be the most difficult area, but I enjoyed there. And I got a lot of aspects on the environment. So, uh, world is small. So now, now geography has become history. Kahi bhi jao, communication ho jata hai. Okay, thank you. Sir, I have one last request which students have made. Ki, this time it was virtual. Next time we want you to physically come to our college. I, and I basically love to be physical because uh, that's why, uh, that's my style of uh, going and uh, not on the stage. I just interact with the people. But uh, because... Um, uh, HSNC, uh, I have got a very good relationship, so as a special request, I did accept that. I have got a request from uh, St. Xavier's uh, next time, under the Drusa program, they have got agriculture. So I said, clearly, if it is virtual, I am not going to come. If it is there, so they said, you know, no, you can come to our college. Otherwise, I like to, because interacting uh, with students make me younger. So whatever, uh, after 60, whatever you do, I don't look like 60, but I'm 60. <laughs> so after 60, uh, uh, there, there is a, uh, there, there is a, uh, you can just uh, go to Google and say anti-clockwise theory. So if you do things uh, which you had a passion or which you had done before, I used to like teaching. So uh, if you do that, the clock uh, turns back and uh, you're more energetic. Uh, even your parameters are more, that's a Ellen Edgar study of Harvard University. You can just uh, say counter clockwise uh, study and this helped me. So I should thank you for giving me the opportunity to be more energetic. Thank you. Sir, the pleasure was ours. Thank you so much again, sir, for the wonderful session and for delivering it so practically. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Can I say something? Yeah. Okay, I, I just. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I thank you so much, Puna uh, Madam and Shweta Ma'am. Uh, I just want to talk to the KC students, and uh, this is a very, very, can I say, big thank you to all the KC students on behalf of the principal, staff, and uh, 
uh, uh, staff and teachers. Uh, tomorrow we are going to have tomorrow we are going to have an interaction over here, and that is going to be like a um, uh, on-site uh, interactions in the auditorium where we are going to introduce you to different clubs that we are going to have. Then also we are going to have an awareness program where we are going to talk to you about the different rules and regulations and conduct code of conduct. And uh, I welcome you all for that. And I, I promise you that we are coming over here. And after two years of COVID, everybody is ready to come back, including us also, and to uh, get into the gear. And uh, I can promise you a very, very vibrant kind of say uh, campus over here. And I'm going to have a very magnificent time in KC College. And uh, uh, we are going to be the clubs and the different kind of activities that you do have. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, uh, lastly, I can only say thank you yeah, yeah. Tawadis, sir, because Tawadis sir was talking today on a, a subject which is very, very close to my heart also because history has not, or we have not given that much of importance to history of Sivaji, which he deserves. That means we cannot imagine. He was talking about Punjab to Tanjavur. Okay, he was talking about that. But I am rather, I will say, it is not Punjab to Tanjavur only. It is from the Maharashtra coast to the Eastern coast. Yeah, if you look at that, because I was very much surprised when I went on to your uh, uh, Orissa coast, I found out battlements, battlements, uh, uh, naval battlements over there uh, on uh, the coast of Orissa. And I got surprised how the kind of Maratha battlements are over there. Then I will just tell yeah. uh, you, during Shivaji, it was from Gujarat to Tanjava, but the Maratha Empire went right up to Peshawar and Odisha and down below. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Like so that. I think I have a slide over that. So yeah. after that, the Maratha Empire uh, fully developed. Yes. But during, during Shivaji, it was between the uh, border of uh, Kutch to Tanjava, uh, yeah. a diagonally opposite. I do have that map, but I can share it afterwards. Yeah. Okay. Thank you that, so much. That is the four standard, uh, uh, standard uh, history book. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Minuji, I, I, I don't know, people know that. Minuji said, I don't know, 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 I